Who is it? It's Vicky. What in the world is she doing here? Vicky. God, there is no time to argue. You've got to help me. Help me convince her that I don't love her anymore. Oh, I have told you over and over. You simply cannot ask something like this. She is your fiance and you love her dearly. I have to do this. Sloan, this is wrong. Yeah. Sloan? Vicky. <laughs> oh, Mark, what a surprise. Jesse and I got home this afternoon and you weren't there, so I decided I simply had to come the way you were. Oh, God, I missed you so much. Introduce me to your friend. Sloan has told me so much about you. I really must say I feel as if I already know you. Yes, I've certainly heard a lot about you too, Vicky. Your house is just uh, along the bay a little bit, right? And I hear it's absolutely beautiful. Well, thank you. It's not far. I do hope you're going to enjoy our Chesapeake weather this time of year. Oh, you know something? It doesn't matter as long as I'm with Sloan. I mean, <laughs> nice weather's just an added bonus. Now, what happened? I didn't expect you back from Arizona for another day. Nothing really happened. I, I just wanted to come home, that's all. Uh, and you weren't there, and Andrew told me where you were, so I just decided to come down and surprise you. Well, you did that. You surprised me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have called first, shouldn't no, I? But I couldn't no, wait. No, no. Danny, you look a little pale. Are you all right? I'm fine. Just yeah. fine. Mm -hmm. I do wish you had come to Arizona. At least the sun might have put some color in your cheeks. Yes, that would have done me some good. How are the repairs going? Well, the flood damage is... Uh, it's not a problem anymore. It's all been taken care of. Well, oh, good. Um, Beverly, did, did your house have flood damage as well? Flood damage? No, no. Uh, I didn't have any damage. The police house is on much higher ground. Oh, well, I guess you were lucky then. Yes, I was. You know, I really do have to be going. You oh. all have a lot to talk about. Oh, well, that's a shame. Can't you stay just for a while? Yes, please. I'll get something for us to drink. Well, that would be nice, sweetheart. You know, I've wanted to meet Beverly for so long now. Finally, we'll have a chance to chat. Mm. Sloan has told me so many wonderful stories about you two, how you met in grade school and fell in love and then everyone expected you two to get married? Yes, well, eventually we went our separate ways. And Sloan met Becky when he was at West Point. I met Stephen at Johns Hopkins. I understand your husband uh, died the same year that Sloan lost his wife. Yes. Something else we went through together. At least you had each other. I, I must say, I'm so glad that you were here for him now, you know, while I was in Arizona, because this house means the world to me. It was my pleasure. Good. I felt so awfully selfish, you know, being out there in Arizona, enjoying myself with my daughter while he was here dealing with all these miserable problems. Although I had tried to cancel the trip in the very beginning, but he would not hear of it. Absolutely insisted I go, have a good time, said enjoy yourself. As usual, he wanted to deal with his problems all by himself. <laughs> yes. He could be so stubborn sometimes. Far too proud to ever ask for help. Yes, he is too proud. And it's a fault. I just wish he would realize that kind of pride is not a virtue. If he would just understand that he could trust the people who love him and know that they would help him gladly because they love him. My goodness. Sounds as if your friend has some advice she really wants you to hear. Excuse me just for a moment. I need to go inside. I'll be back. I'll be here. Sloan cannot do this. You cannot do it. Vicki is a sweet and a lovely woman, and she is devoted to you. You just cannot do this. It'll break her heart. Yeah, I'm doing it for her. Besides, it will not work. I mean, the very idea that you would tell her that you do not love her anymore is absolutely absurd. I'm doing it for her. I love her. I want her to be happy. Why should she spend a few months of sadness and grief to be left alone with a string?